Emmalyn Anderson for WMCT News in Marlboro tonight for the overdose awareness vigil put on by Marlboro's own Kathy Leonard. Kathy tragically lost her 27-year-old son to an overdose in 2014. She has been working hard ever since to bring awareness and education to others, promoting knowledge of warning signs and support available to those in need. I just kept going to different events and going to different support type of groups and realized that the people that I was meeting, that there was a need. There was a need to educate people because I didn't know as much obviously then as I know now and I wish I had. I don't know if it would have changed anything, but I saw the need and I saw the lack of information that people had about substance use disorder and thought, you know, I want to try to help other people from having to be in the situation I'm in, having lost a child, because there's no shame in this. There really isn't, or, you know, there shouldn't be. And if we can help educate people and reduce the stigma, then people won't be so afraid to reach out for help. The overdose awareness vigil is held on August 31st on this lawn on Main Street with a purple flag to indicate each life lost to an overdose in the past year. The first year I did it, I had 1,256 flags. Last year I had 1,531. So we still have a lot of work to do. I was hoping each year to have to put fewer flags out there and I have more flags. This year, right now, there currently are 2,107 flags. The vigil drew an exceptionally large crowd this year thanks to several celebrity guest speakers, including Godsmack Sully Erna and well-known advocate Jim Wahlberg. We don't need to add any more flags to this vigil and to the vigils that you heard about going on around the state and around the country. All these cries, always trying to disappear. It's a different kind of tears. Never in a million years did I think Sully Erna would agree to come out to little old Marlboro to help with this, but he did. You know, through Jim Wahlberg spoke to him and they both thought it was a great idea and really wanted to be involved. The vigil included an opening prayer from Reverend Kaz Bem, a slideshow, and a proclamation from Mayor Vigin declaring August 31st as Overdose Awareness Day in Marlboro. Now therefore, I, Arthur G. Vigit Mayor, do hereby proclaim Thursday, August 31st, 2017, is Overdose Awareness Day. It is Kathy's goal that with more awareness in everyone's hands, there will be less flags each year. For WMCT News in Marlboro, I'm Emmalyn Anderson.